So what would you do when you have a flare up of your chronic pain? It's something that everyone with chronic pain must be prepared for. Much as we like, the understanding of chronic pain right now is such that we cannot guarantee that any drug or intervention that you've had is going to keep the pain completely under control at all times. You've all seen my videos on understanding of chronic pain and we know how complex it is. We know that many factors can influence the chronic pain and that's why we say that it must be managed in a biopsychosocial manner because we know that there are biological factors, social factors and psychological factors all of which can cause a flare up at any time. So my first and most important advice when I help patients with chronic pain is to ensure that they do think about what to do when a flare-up happens rather than hoping that a flare-up never happens. And my first suggestion is to have what I call as the RAD checklist. What I generally suggest is patients should be able to create a kind of toolkit, maybe a backpack if you will, of the various techniques that they can use to manage a flare-up. Because what essentially is a flare-up in chronic pain? It is a release of some chemicals due to a particular biological, psychological or social factor. And that release of the chemical sensitizes the nervous system. The nervous system then instructs the muscles and the hormone release that it causes to have a certain particular sequence of action. It will cause muscle tightness, which can cause a flare up of pain. It will cause increased nerve signaling it can cause increased release of chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline. And all of these are the ones that we must then try to control or mitigate its excessive influence. So the RAD checklist essentially consists of three parts. One, the R is a relaxation strategy. The A is an activity or a movement strategy. And D is the distraction strategy. And each of these varies. So relaxation techniques, various relaxation techniques that I talk about in my book include listening to music, including some gentle stretches, include probably trying to find some breathing techniques. And you have to find which combination of a breathing technique or a stretch or listening to music, something that allows you to achieve that combination. Activities can be finding some movement-based technique. It can be the same stretch that I talked about, but usually it would be about walking or combining it with some form of movement-based activity because that allows for the tightness in your muscles to be processed through. Finally, a distraction strategy. This can be anything that allows you to distract or move away from the initial trigger that caused the flare-up. And usually when you can ensure that you have a combination of a relaxation and activity and a distraction technique, ensure that these are things that you practice when you're not having the flare up. So that when the flare up occurs, these techniques then become easy to do and come on fairly automatically rather than trying hard at that time to learn a relaxation strategy or try to do a movement or try to distract yourself. So in short, prepare a RAD checklist and have that as part of your backpack to help you manage the flare up and then combine it with any medications or any other techniques like pharmacological choices or any other options. Thank you for watching the videos. I hope you're getting value from them. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on when the next videos are to be released.